Back. Hey! And Panda wanted me to find some stuff about dreams. Uh, dreams. Does God speak to us in dreams? So I found a video and a couple scriptures. There's, uh, I think there was at least 50 that pulled up on Google of this. Um, I just got a few today. So what made you want to look into that? Um, sometimes I have like real lucid dreams and I'm thinking, like I wonder if maybe God's trying to tell me something. I dreams. think in the Old Testament you needed an interpreter. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would need somebody to interpret them. Oh, like well, you would tell them to somebody, and then they would. Well, not me specifically, but like a. <sighs> back then, I think it was the high priest. So I would tell like my what I dreamt about, and he would say, "Oh, that was God telling you." Yeah, he would like di differentiate if it was just a regular dream or. But oh, how could he do that? I don't know. He wasn't in the dream. I don't know. Okay. Um, so in Acts, he's referring back to uh, Joel here. Acts 2.17, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Young man will see visions and old men will dream dreams. Yep, and he was quoting Joel. So I think it was Paul that wrote Acts and Joel, the, which is in the Old Testament. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons will and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Your daughters will prophesy. And with the interpreter, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think... That's why it says this in First John, uh, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try to, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. So, so why try them? Try, try and test whether it's of God or not, whether oh, it's okay. of the Holy Spirit. So you test it. Oh, well, that's kind of scary, right? Yeah, because you don't know what you're listening to unless you test it. Like if it's good, it's of God. If it's evil, it's not. Oh. Well, so yeah, hard one there. to swallow. Yeah, because what if I'm like, okay, so I followed my dream, and it ended up taking me back, and um, so the dream told me to, oh, head to your work, and God will send you a husband. And then, okay, so I go to my work, and um, I'm following my dream, and I ended up not finding my husband, but finding you know, somebody not my husband. I'm not, that's very specific. I'm not sure about that one. I think you would need an interpreter. <laughs> back to that. So <laughs> yeah. we're back to needing an uh, interpreter. Believe okay. not every spirit, but try the spirit. Again, you just said that. Whether they're of God. Okay. So, so um, I would just try me. What's the worst I could lose? Well, I guess it, my husband? the Holy Spirit would speak through you if it was uh, really of God or not. Well, no, I, it was a dream. That's what you dreamed? Well, no, that's not what I dreamed. I dreamed something. But if something. you dreamed that. If I dreamed that, I would just go and try try the school to see if I meet a husband. I mean, you can. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I did a little research on the dream. So you kind of okay. caught me off guard with it, but I did the best I could. Okay. I mean, I know it took you all week to research it. <laughs> and the most famous one, I think everybody on this... Uh, would probably know it. Uh, Jesus, uh, Joseph accepts Jesus as his son. Did you want to read the blue? No. Okay. I'll read the blue. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Imagine his shock. Mm, right. He probably thought she was a hussy. He probably thought she was a hussy. Yeah. <laughs> or a hussy <laughs> because joseph her husband was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to the public disgrace he had in mind to divorce her quietly mm. but after he had considered this an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream and said joseph son of david do not be afraid to take mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the holy spirit she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name jesus what is it? 
Jesus is from the Greek of Joshua, which means the Lord saves, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Mm -hmm. That was back in Isaiah. I remember I wanted to name you that. I Elijah of, or Emmanuel. It, teeth? <laughs> Caleb is what. Oh, Caleb. Yeah, but um, your grandma said no. You know that song, uh, A Boy Named Sue? Mm. <laughs> Johnny Cash. I can't say I do. I think you do. I think you've heard it. it? I can promise you I don't know a that song. A Boy Named Sue. How does it go? Well, you, they, his dad gave him a girl's name, Sue. Oh, Oh, yeah, I think we to, talked about this. To make him stronger. And then when he finally met his dad, he uh, I think he killed him. He I killed like, his dad. I like that, though. It did, but did it work? I think he ended his dad's life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, I mean, it made him stronger? I think it made him stronger, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I think, think they got in a gunfight. Or I think that, uh, that maybe that's why <laughs> Grandma named you Taylor. And, and it worked. And me and your dad always called you a soldier, and, and that worked. So, this is the beat by Alan Parr. Are you playing a song? <laughs> no, this is a okay. song. We would get taken down. We can't play okay. songs. Okay, you just said uh, this is the beat. This is what I found. Can God speak to us through dreams? And if so, how can we tell if it's from God? So, that's what you were kind of asking. Yep, that's... One, there are no okay. clear scriptures in the Bible that suggest that God cannot or God does not speak to us in dreams anymore. As a matter of fact, the book of Joel chapter 2 says this, it will come about after this that I will pour out my spirit on all mankind and your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. And if we believe that this is just some Old Testament scripture, the apostle Peter comes back in the book of Acts chapter 1 and confirms that this is indeed the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So for people who say that God can or God does not speak to us in dreams at all, and it's impossible for God to do that. This is more teeth. of an opinion based on perhaps their theological position, but it's not supported by Scripture. Now, with that being said, See? act number two, the most common way that God chooses to speak to us in this day and age is indeed through the Word of God. Hebrews I knew it. 1, verses 1 and 2 says this. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. So the scriptures are very clear that the most common way that God chooses to speak to us today is through his word, which means that any dream that you get that you believe is from God, if it is not consistent and supported through the scriptures, then that means that no matter how real that dream seemed, it is not a dream from God. What? I don't so that get means it. you have to try and test it through the word. So like, all right, so let's say pretend my dream was like, okay, this, this guy, um, that I thought was, uh, you know, pretty good person. He was bad in my dream and I'm thinking, okay, maybe God's trying to tell me, watch out. He's, he's a mean man. So how would I follow that through? How would I read that and follow that? You would read, the word. read the word, put faith in God and then pray about it. Because prayer, but it doesn't say anywhere in the Bible. Like, I don't get, I don't get it. Well, you would try and test it, so you would read the word and then pray about it. Like I just, but yeah, pray about it and God will reveal it to you. Read the word. Well, and pray, then pray about, about it. it. Yeah, because God will reveal it to you. But not every dream. And means then if something. I have a dream again. Well, he goes on to say, and we'll we'll get into it. If God is going to send you a dream, it's not going to be like all over a place. It's going to be very specific. You're going to know it's a. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to know it. That's what I it's felt. It's not going to be like all over a place. Oh, I'm in Candyland. Then I'm getting ran over or something. Right. Right. Yeah. Number three, and this is probably the most important one of them all, and that is this. God will always make the meaning or the symbolism of that dream 
crystal clear to you. Now sometimes he does that by making it crystal clear directly to you as was the case in Matthew chapter 1. Beginning in verse 20 it says this, but after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son. I feel like we took a lot of his verses that he had. <laughs> um, I th I was wondering, did you, you are to give him the name <laughs> Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Now look at did you not know he was this. doing when them? Joseph woke up. He did. Maybe it was like subconscious. Okay. Subconsciously, I'll tag him in the video. Okay. Angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. So I want you to notice here that. Well, Joseph Ian, it's a really popular one. Like, what was? It's really popular. Oh, he's got some views. No. I didn't understand no, the video. What of this video? No. I don't think you're speaking it right. The scripture is real popular. Like it's oh, a yeah. it's a well known scripture is what I meant. Any sense to me? I'm you want totally some gum? confused. Like I don't get huh? it. God. You want like, some gum? Must wake up from our <laughs> I'm history. good. We don't quite understand what they mean. God will always make that dream clear to you. Clear. If indeed, it is from God. Sometimes, whenever you have a dream, and if it is from God, He will make it clear not directly to you, but He'll send someone to interpret that dream. So once again, there is no confusion, and it'll be clear to you. This was the case in Genesis chapter 40 when there was a cupbearer who was in. Prison God, he didn't do this he one, did you? I almost he added this one. He couldn't figure out what that dream meant. And so God allowed Joseph to interpret the meaning of that dream so that it was clear. So here's the point. The Bible says that God is not a God of confusion. God wants to communicate his word and his will to us. So if it is mm -hmm. not clear to you, then that dream is probably not a dream from God. Fact number four, if indeed this dream is... A lot of the dreams I have are hazy. And I try to remember when I wake up, but they don't ever make any sense. I don't think I've had any uh, crystal clear dreams. No, but you be having some scary dreams. Okay. <laughs> oh. God, sometimes it's meant for you and only you because other people won't understand your dream. This was the case for Joseph in Genesis chapter 37, where the Bible says here, Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. I don't so remember sometimes that. Sometimes the dream may be for you, and you share it with somebody else. I knew his brothers hated him, but... given them the same dream, they get jealous of you, or they just don't understand it, so they think it's not of God. So sometimes God may give you a dream, and it's not for you to share with anybody else this is just something that god wants to communicate directly to you which means you should be very careful in terms of who you choose to share your dreams with and because that's the truth you might dream more than others yep what <laughs> you might you might dream more than i, mean, I do you, you talk about your dreams a lot so right some things are just meant for you i think you, you mean I unless it's like you. crystal clear then you're like oh hey taylor come listen to this what I got. Oh, I dream like that every night. Crystal clear? Yeah. I mean, now the dream is a little confusing, but it's always clear. <laughs> like, it's confusing because it's a dream. Like, I'll be somewhere and I'll be doing, uh, like, oh gosh. I know you've had them dreams where you're in school and you're, you are walking naked. I don't think so. Everybody does. Um, so, like, I'll be somewhere, and it's really hot outside, but I'll be um, doing, like, uh, uh, aerobics in the pool. Or, no, I said that wrong. It doesn't make The dream doesn't make sense in, in, in itself, but it'll make sense to me. It'll be snowing, but I, in the dream, I'll be in the pool. Okay. Okay. Fact number five, God severely punishes people who share their dreams with other people when they are not dreams that God gave them, especially when they affect someone else's life. In Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 1, it says this, If a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you and announces to you a sign or wonder. And he goes on. That would be what we read in First John right here. Beloved, 
Believe not. Oh, every, you're on your daily app. Every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they're of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. So that's what they'd be talking about in the um, Deuteronomy. So, hey, if this oh thing comes wow! To I've told my dreams God, to every this all the is time. Punishment that that person can expect from God. It says this in verse five: that prophet or dreamer must be put to death for inciting rebellion against the Lord your God. Elsewhere in Jeremiah chapter twenty-three, it says this. Indeed, I think that's more so like if they were trying to be like a false prophet and like say, "Oh, I'm dreaming this. I'm getting these visions or things from God." Well, I said it could have been from... Well, that was like Old Testament. If somebody came along back then and said, Oh, I'm getting these visions and dreams from God, and maybe they're trying to take over as a leader or something. Like, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see what uh, uh, Jeremiah... Yes, those who prophesy false dreams, declares the Lord. They tell them and lead my people astray with their reckless lies, yet I did not send or appoint them. They do not benefit these people in the least, declares the Lord. So if you have a dream and you believe that this dream is from God and it is a dream about somebody else's life, I want to encourage you to be very, 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 very careful before you go on and share that dream with somebody else because that dream could then cause that person to make a certain decision in their life. It could alter the very path of their lives and your dream may or may not even been from God at all. So God makes it very clear in the scriptures that when we speak on his behalf, if it is not from God, there is a severe punishment. So does God still speak to us in dreams? Well, yes, indeed he can. Is that the normal way of communicating? No. The truth is that many of our dreams are just simply a result of our subconscious or our brain processing information. And so if you really want to know God's will for your Read the word. Read the word. Bird. So maybe like if you wanted to start as soon as you get up writing it down, like keeping a book beside your bed, writing it down, reading your uh, daily devotion or word, and then praying about it. To see if he's speaking to me. Because I don't have dreams like that. I have like get pieces and then I forget them throughout the day. Oh no, I've always dreamt like pretty good. But uh, he can speak through dreams. He's done it through Old and New Testament, but... The main thing's the word. That's how he speaks to us. When Jesus became, the word became flesh in Jesus. Good to know. Have you been highlighting? Doing your highlights? <laughs> I'm not signed in on the computer. I'm on signed in on my phone. But if I wanted to gain more badges, I could sign in on this device. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how that would work. Mm. I guess I would just highlight. <laughs> um, but again uh try the spirits whether they're of god mm. so test them try them i don't know if i would say that anymore I <laughs> well i was I just know. reiterating what that uh nice man was saying Are you <laughs> i don't i don't know about that well what do you know i think you should ask your bible school leader and maybe she will, she will tell you. Well, he was very clear there about the punishment in the Old Testament for sharing your dreams and leading others astray. I think maybe writing them down first and then uh, maybe doing, bringing them to Bible study would be kind of cool. That's what I just said. Bringing them. But then, Isn't that what I just said? Like taking her into a corner and say, look what I've got. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. I guess it would just depend on the dream. Like, all right, for instance, um, I had a dream years This guy ago. turned oh. bad on me. On and, your dream? Yeah. And he's somebody, like, I'm trying, I still am very new at knowing him. And maybe I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm now, you know, somebody's trying to tell me he's bad. Hmm. Now go ahead with what you're saying. Oh, it's not. It, it obviously wasn't important enough, so we can just leave it out. Okay. Um, you forgot. In other words, I forget all of my okay. dreams. <laughs> no, you <laughs> except forgot for what this you were one that oh, wasn't that important. That one. <laughs> um, I think I was snowboarding or something, and then I was on a bridge, and then I fell off the bridge, and I just kept falling, falling until I woke up. One of my dreams is when you were away in the army, um, you had hurt your leg, and it was real because you had really hurt your leg. Like you would, or it was more in depth. Like you would hurt your leg, and um, your your uh, I don't know what you call them, the drill sergeant um, that was supposed to be with your pat 
your pack drill sergeants only in basic training okay well whatever this man was like rude to you and wouldn't help you and you would like you were like stuck in something i don't know well, I'm, well I, know. I stepped in a pothole, but it wasn't in basic training. But I, what I'm saying is, I don't remember when I had the dream, but when I told you about it, like the next year, you were like, well, by the way, kind of that did happen. Yeah, that was way later. But I think writing your dreams down, uh, again, doing your daily devotion, reading the word, and... Uh, I think mothers have like an instinct. One more you thing. Know? There was one more thing. And praying about it. Praying about it. Praying. Oh, oh, I did find because you were asking about Deuteronomy. So if you have a, she was reading earlier. If you have a rebellious child, um, they need to be stoned. It's what it says. Well, it actually says son. Rebellious son, but that can mean many different things in the Old Testament because it's translated. So rebellious back then could have been like he's going around hurting women and killing people but they had back in the old testament i think deuteronomy they had a moral law they had a ceremonial law and they had a judicial and civil law which is different um like as christians we don't necessarily follow that we just follow the ten commandments um but if you want me to go over some of the different laws good